Could you even imagine the Chronicles of Narnia without Aslan? Or Narnia with a watered down Aslan, who is no longer the good but not safe king, but one who has been remade to submit to a plethora of religions and ideologies? Recently, I came across an article from Screen Rant called Netflix's Chronicles of Narnia using the original book's ending would be a huge mistake. They're worried Narnia's Christian themes will alienate viewers, and they don't like the last battle's ending. I grew more and more concerned as I read about Netflix's Narnia remake until I ran to cry the dreadful news to my parents. My dad stopped my frantic rant in its tracks with this comment. Well, Aslan represents Jesus, and so if they're trying to rebel against Christ, why would they want Aslan? And therein lies the whole problem. Hey guys, I'm Kenna Rose. We live in a time when our country openly and with hostility rejects biblical truth in favor of self-centered lies, and is starting to do the same thing with the actual persons of Christ and God. In The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, Edmund betrays his siblings out of selfishness. He wants what he wants, and who cares about the others? When he hears talk about Aslan, he's filled with a mysterious sense of horror, because he's eaten the white witch's food and is on her side. 2 Corinthians 2, 15-17 says, For we are the aroma of Christ to God among those who are being saved and among those who are perishing, to one a fragrance from death to death, to the other a fragrance from life to life. Those who don't know God are on the side of the devil, as we all once were. The fragrance of the gospel isn't pleasant to them because it means harsh judgment unless they repent and accept Christ. Every single problem in our world right now, murder, including abortion, LGBTQIA+, homelessness, drug use, pain, suffering, and death, can all be traced back to a lack of the knowledge of God. This article from Screen Ramp unintentionally symbolizes where our country is at. The ending of the last battle is unattractive to those who reject Christ because there's no understanding of what it truly and joyously means for the Pevensies to have gotten into Aslan's country. The cross smells like judgment to the world because it hasn't accepted the grace and mercy the true good but not safe king offers, and still offers. But like Edmund, anyone who chooses to repent of their selfish desires, knowing that price has been paid, will get to experience the real Aslan's country where, as we're told in Revelation 21.4, God himself will be with us and will wipe away every tear from our eyes, and death shall be no more, neither there shall there be mourning, nor crying, nor pain anymore. Thank you so much for watching that video. We appreciate it if you would share it with your friends, like the video, and subscribe to Illinois Family Institute's YouTube channel, IL Family Institute. And if you want to see more of what I've done, check out the Kenna Rose playlist on their YouTube channel.